in order to stop diabetes in this tract you have to also burn up the fat that you have already accumulated in your cells right from childhood remember the accumulation of the fats have been occurring all these years welcome to this spring life and health channel today we're going to talk about how to stop diabetes before it even starts focusing on the risk factors that ultimately lead to diabetes if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet i uh, would encourage you to subscribe and hit the like button share the video with your friends and colleagues so that uh, we'll reach more people let's get on with it stop diabetes or stopping diabetes before it even starts and the first risk factor that we're going to uh, uh, look at today is age over 45. age is really a number that only counts if it is associated with fat deposits if it's associated with fat in your cells in that case then you are going to have problems with diabetes you're going to have problems with hyper cholesterol you're going to have problems with heart disease you're going to have problems with stroke why because fat in your cells is a recipe for disaster but remember we talked about a six risk factors of diabetes and you can check up on our channel if you are age over 45 uh, you have a higher risk for diabetes type 2 diabetes i think we can stop that no matter how old you are you could be 50 you could be 60. i want us to look at how to stop that risk from being important in your life so that you wouldn't be afraid or think of getting diabetes just because you are getting older though age is a high risk factor for diabetes recently though if you look back you can see that in places where uh, it's, it's not difficult to get food you know in places where uh, people don't exercise and all those things happening we, we have seen that even younger children or younger people are getting diabetes or sometimes pre-diabetes as young as age eight people are getting diagnosed with diabetes or pre-diabetes so if you say that age over 45 is a risk factor what about those people who are getting diabetes younger than that it's not just the age per se there's something else happening that is increasing people's risk for diabetes it just accumulates onto the age of 40 or 45 when we see it more so in other words the risk increases i mean starts earlier than age 45 but around that age is when the accumulation of the risk bring up the diabetes diagnosis more or more often because more younger people have been diagnosed either with diabetes uh, type 2 diabetes or pre-diabetes including ages less than the teenage years or even teenagers and the people in their 20s as well as people in elementary school when i looked at this i found that there is one common thing that happens with people who are being diagnosed with diabetes and this is no secret you probably know that many of these countries or places where younger people are getting diabetes have also seen increase in obesity increase in weight and that is increasing their risk or that is increasing the diagnosis of diabetes among these people what happens in, uh, in people who are gaining weight that makes them get a uh, diabetes diagnosis then so uh, if we can refer back to our definition of diabetes or what happens in diabetes which is also another video we have uh, on our channel what happens in diabetes is that in uh, in a regular in a normal person without diabetes your muscle cells are responsible for picking up most of the glucose that you 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 eat from your from your from your gut as well as your brain those two organs the muscle cells as well as the brain they eat up a lot of the sugar or the glucose that we eat what is happening is when people are getting overweight or when people are getting obese their muscle cells have been filled with fat deposits with fat so a cell which should usually just pick up glucose and work with it those cells are now filled with so much fat that even in the presence of insulin they cannot sense or see the glucose and pick it up so glucose linger around in the blood for a longer time if you are younger age than 45 and your cells or your muscle cells have been filled with fat deposits then you cannot pick up glucose and because you cannot pick up glucose it is going to linger in your blood which we then refer to as higher blood glucose or diabetes or even glucose intolerance so if we want to stop diabetes before it starts then the first thing we should do is to reduce the fat that we eat animal fat in particular meat red meat 
and meat and oils that contain high amount of fat are those things that make us age. So the earlier and the more you eat those, the more you age and of course the more you are unable to pick up glucose because your insulin will not work. Whatever age you are at, if you can reduce your fat intake, especially from animal sources, you are going to reduce or stop diabetes from happening in the first place. The other uh, thing to do is to replace all the animal diets you have, animal food groups you have with plant-based diets. I would wish that everybody could become a vegetarian, but if it is too hard for you, at least make sure you stop the sources of animal fat because they accumulate right from childhood and at some point around age 45 that is when your risk go, uh, goes up so if you are around that age where there's risk for having, uh, having diabetes which is age 45 one way to stop it from happening is to stop if you can completely to stop animal fat uh, diets uh, which is found in milk and dairy products like cheeses and, and, and milk as well as in oils that we use to cook and as well as in animal products animal protein and and you know the meat that we eat chicken uh, uh, pork uh, uh, beef and all those things they will all contain animal fat so if you can stop those that would be great if you can replace those things with plant-based diets such as legumes beans brown rice and all the other sources of plant diet which have higher amounts of um, fiber they can replace uh, those and they can actually help you also reduce those fat storage uh, that you have in your cells already also cutting back on on your carbohydrates because excess carbohydrates are also changed into fat and stored in the liver and in the muscles and other places in your body so cutting back on your especially the simple sugars the regular uh, drinks of sugar sugary drinks that we drink beverages of alcohol that has sugar all those excesses are also being turned into fat which eventually ends up in your cells and for which reason you cannot pick up glucose and you become diabetic the other thing is that in order to stop diabetes in this tract you have to also burn up the fat that you have already accumulated in your cells right from childhood remember the accumulation of the fat have been occurring all these years and that is why at around the age of 45 diabetes usually shows up so in order to stop it from happening bend the fact that you have already deposited in your cells and the way to do that is to also exercise be physically active and do stuff that will make sure that whatever excesses you have already stored begin to leak out for use by your uh, body for energy rather than to be continuously stored and end up being uh, glucose intolerance for you uh, aerobic exercise muscle muscle exercises of all the muscle groups you can reverse and stop diabetes in this tract so that is one way of stopping diabetes in this tract no matter what age and especially if your risk is increasing because you are around the age of 40 or 45 and above and now before we end the video i just want to look around and see the people who you know that look younger than their age almost always they are always less fat they have less uh, uh, fat deposits in them and almost always healthy so incidentally they are aging less so fat makes you age more so if these people are aging less then obviously they are going to be sick with not just diabetes but they are going to be healthier overall and the reason is that they eat more greens more legumes natural plant-based foods whole foods and stuff like that so that their body reflects what they are eating so they could be 60 and yet you could see them and think oh i thought you were 50. so age is really a number that only counts if it is associated with fat deposits if it's associated with fat in your cells in that case then you are going to have problems with diabetes you're going to have problems with hypercholesterol. You're going to have problems with heart disease. You're going to have problems with stroke. Why? Because fat in your cells is a recipe for disaster. But I challenge you that you can be old and yet young in health because you don't have fat deposits. So yes, uh, make sure you replace all those fatty meals, pizzas and, and, uh, and burgers with diets that are less rich in fat.